Hello, and welcome to Intermediate Financial Accounting 1, Tutorial 18A. This is the first of two tutorials that are focused on estimating ending inventory using the gross profit method. This tutorial will look at estimating inventory based on gross profit percentage. Tutorial 18B will look at calculating or estimating inventory based on markup percentage. So we have one simple learning objective for this tutorial, and that is to use the gross profit method to estimate inventory value, but based on the gross profit percentage, or what we can call GP percentage. This tutorial is based on the Manzir Corp example, so please make sure that you download it so you can follow along. Tutorial 18A will focus on requirement one, and that is using the gross profit method, determine the value of the damaged cork flooring inventory assuming that Manzir's average gross profit percentage is 30%. This is the GP percentage. We begin with our beginning inventory of 450,000 collected from the data presented. And then what we do is we add in any purchases and any freight in. If you have a question that has freight out, do not include it because that's related to sales. We can then create a subtotal of our beginning inventory plus any purchases and freight, and this gives us purchases at cost. Then we can deduct any purchase returns or allowances, if there are any. And in our example, we have 60,000 in purchase returns, and there are purchase discounts. And remember that purchase discounts usually arise from taking advantage of early payment discounts. Manzir has 15,000 in early payment discounts. So when we take our beginning inventory plus our freight and purchases to give us purchases at cost and then deduct purchase returns, allowances, and discounts, we end up with cost of goods available for sale. This is not cost of goods sold. This is cost of goods available for sale. So subtracting 60000 and 15000 we have cost of goods available for sale. Sometimes you can refer to that perhaps COGA of 1377000 our next step is to estimate the cost of goods sold based on our sales. The data says that the company had 1,900,000 in sales and the average gross profit is 30% of sales. So if we deduct the 30%, so a million nine times 30%, that's 570,000. If we deduct, we end up with an estimated cost of goods sold of 1,330,000. If you like, you can bypass this calculation and just go 1,900,000 times 100% minus 30%, right? Because of this is 30, so we end up with 70% cost of goods sold ratio. And that's the same thing as taking 100% minus 30% gross profit. The result then is our ending estimated inventory on hand at August 31st of $47,000 because we take our cost of goods available for sale and then we subtract our $1,330,000 in estimated cost of goods sold and that means what we have left over is $47,000. Now in this question we're trying to figure out how much of the inventory was damaged. If the entire warehouse was destroyed and all the inventory was damaged then 47,000 would be what we would uh, report for insurance purposes. However, there is some undamaged inventory estimated to have a sales value worth 22,000. And if we know that our cost of goods sold percentage is 70%, this means the undamaged inventory is $15,400. If we take our total estimated inventory and subtract what was not destroyed, then what is destroyed is 31,600. So 47,000 less the undamaged inventory of 15,400 is 31,600. So now for some key points to remember. First, always calculate the cost of goods available. And don't forget to add things like purchases, freight in, not freight out, or any other cost that would increase inventory. Examples of that could be any duties or any costs to, to import, uh, anything that you have to pay at the border, non-refundable value-added tax like provincial tax. And then do not forget to subtract any purchase returns, discounts or allowances, or any other items that would decrease inventory, but this typically captures them all. So this concludes tutorial 18a on estimating ending inventory using the gross profit approach based on gross profit percentage. 
please proceed to tutorial 18b to accomplish the same objective using the markup percentage.